Following the civil war between Matilda and Stephen, Henry II had to reassert crown authority. He introduced three reforms. A land title court with a jury of 12, abolished trial by ordeal and compurgation for evidence-based prosecution before a jury of 12, and addressed the state within a state of the Roman Church. Land title became an issue because both sides had given land to mercenaries and supporters. Compurgation was where the gentry could vouch for one another and avoid justice. Ecclesiastical courts allowed the clergy to get away with murder. Magna Carta followed in 1215, and in 1235 Henry Bracton codified common law. Thomas Cromwell transformed England from a medieval state to a modern one. Reduced the King's Council from 90 to 19, forming a Privy Council which became the modern cabinet, auditing tax collection through the Courts of Augmentation and ending Rome's power in England. His method was statistics, statutes and institutions. During Cromwell's eight years, Parliament sat more frequently and passed 333 statutes. Monastic orders had become wealthy and corrupt. In France they were transformed by Cardinal Ambois, in Spain by Cardinal Jimenez. The Pope's commission recommended their abolition, and in England they were abolished. Cromwell's method was to compile statistics, the Valor Ecclesiasticus, pass statutes and establish institutions, including poor relief and the poor law. Francis Bacon's Novum Organum was famous across Europe. It was a rejoinder to Aristotle's Organon, in which Aristotle introduced the syllogism. Bacon's new tool was the scientific method, induction or cause and effect. Despite Bacon's scientific enlightenment, he supported the king's belief in divine rule. It was Edward Coke who stood up to the king, or rather knelt down to him, when the king raised his fist. Coke had quoted Bracton's common law and told the king he was acting illegally. James reacted with Scottish fury, but stayed within the law. 